So I'm back with my um, under the seat carry-on. So this is my agent lumbar pillow. It is super cute. And this is my Orla Kylie baby bag. I chose this bag specifically because it is wipeable and durable. And I have everything that I think I might be taking with me packed inside. So stay tuned if you would like to see what I'm taking with me to PlannerCon 2017. So first is this agent um, pillow slash blanket thing. So when I do travel, I'm actually going to have it. Um, if I can get it with one finger. Let me see. I'm actually gonna have it open. Let me go ahead and take out the blanket so I don't rip the zipper. So it's super soft, I have it open now. And sorry about that, I had to change the view of my cell phone. This is the blanket and inside this pocket, there is a blow up pillow to refill the case. And I'll just have that hanging over so I don't have to hear anything. And this will be tucked into the back pocket in case TSA has a problem with me having something hanging off the bag. But I could viably just hook it onto here next to my luggage tag, which is on both of my luggages, by the way. Um, and I have an extra one for my duffel bag. So if everything has to be checked or something gets lost, it can get sent back to me. So I can logistically hook this onto here, but why even deal with the hassle? So this will be hanging over to cover both the front and back pockets because I'll have my cell phone in the back. I'll show you where it's going to be. And then I have my wallet in this pocket. And that folds up very easy, easy back into its pouch. So I am using this Orla Kylie baby bag. I'm sure you can still get it on Target.com. It comes in navy blue and orange. And in, I'm going to actually just tip it back up. Sorry. Maybe if I sit, it would be easier for you guys to see inside the pocket. So inside this first pocket, which I really don't even have to unzip all that much, it expands. So there's tons of room. It looks like it's overstuffed, but I still have room. I have two quart size um, standalone bags for on the way there and on the way back in case one breaks and they make me take it out of my travel liquids container pouch. Shouldn't have a problem. It's TSA approved, used it before. Here is my woman necessity, my feminine needs, you know, tampons, pads, liners, all that great stuff. Some wipes um, that I usually keep in my purse. There is enough for two different occasions in case uh, I start my cycle unknowingly or I run out. So that is always in my purse. Since I packed my purse, I didn't keep it in there. I probably could just slip it inside of there since it's in a packet cube and I might just do that. So, but that's what's in there. That's just an Ipsy pouch. And then in this pouch, why isn't it unzipping? Will it unzip now? Oh, I think it's stuck on something. Nope, there it goes. I have, from Charming Charlie's, this little um, pouch that has my extra cards, my teacher discount type stuff, because I am an educator, and everything I need to take with me that I didn't want to overstuff my wallet with, and if I'm out and about, I might not need this, so I can leave it in the hotel room. Then, inside its wallet pouch from Vera Bradley, I do have my vibrant pink uh, mini wallet. This is probably half the size of what I usually carry at home, but I love this for travel. I have it in three colors. I don't think you can get this pink one anymore, but the black and brown one just came out recently, so you could probably still get both of those. But I love this wallet. Let me see if I can show you. Let me just check and make sure my ID is not showing. I'll cover it with a receipt. But I have all my credit cards, bank cards in RDF, RDIF, whatever it's called. Um, pouches so that uh, somebody can't steal my information and then it does have a money slot and a change purse that I don't use it actually just holds some um, cash slip back that back into its case the reason why I'm bringing its dust cover is because I do not want to want it to get scratched up while I am traveling um, I try to keep my things as nice as possible so I'm gonna zip this back up and then we'll dive inside so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the bag around. 
And you can see, I mean, I have it stuffed, but believe it or not, there's still room in here. So what I have in the back is my e-reader, which I had this before I got a, a cell phone that had enough capacity to hold the Kindle app, which I've actually removed from my cell phone. And so there's no point in having both. This is my e-reader with a little Johnny Cupcake sticker on it. And this is in the Mocha Rouge print, but they no longer have this print, but they do sell this e-reader case. It's nice and cushioned. And then I have the current book I'm reading. Uh, fervent, fragrant, I don't know. I took out all my documents because you don't need to see all my private info. So, sorry. Um, what's in here will be my hotel information, my plane ticket, my planner con ticket, and any other information that I need to have there. And then this is where my cell phone will go, right here. So, let me get that stuff back in there. And there is room to put... I'm just going to change the order. The book will go back there. The e-reader will slide. I'm actually going to keep it the way it was because there's a magnet on the front of that. You should never have your device by a magnet like that. And then this little case could go right here. More cushioning for my cell phone, and my cell phone would just slide behind, but most likely I'll be carrying it in my hand anyways. TSA can't say anything about that. But it does slip right in there. Okay, so let's go on the inside. So, I mean, it's pretty roomy. I have everything I could possibly want or need for comfortability. I do suffer from anxiety, so having anxiety aids really does help. So... This is not what a normal person would usually take, but this is what I take. So I have my walking pharmacy. I transferred it into a smaller Orla Kylie pouch. I will link below where I got my inspiration from this years and years and years ago. I've been carrying one of these for like four years now. And each year, the necessities inside change depending on the growth of my kids and where we're at. And I can tell you every single time we're out of state for a soccer tournament, the moms come to me and say, hey, do you have a Band-Aid? Hey, do you have sunscreen? And so it just really works out. So here's a little peek inside of it. And this will be one of those little five minute videos to show you what I'm currently carrying if you're interested. I have a brittle, brittle Brita, can't talk, water bottle. Has a built-in filter. This is a new addition to my traveling stuff. Usually we're, when we're in the car, um, I always get a soda, but I'm trying to break that habit and I can't bring my Starbucks cup. So this is what I have and I can just fill it once I get past security. I have a Rubik's cube. I'm at about two minutes of solving it, trying to get down to a minute and a half. And it's just a great way to re um, take away some stress and anxiety. So. Here is my liquids pouch. It is smaller than a quart size actually, but it is TSA approved 311 case. I don't even know why they call it 311 when it's really 3.4 ounces. So that's, this will be in its own separate video. This will be part three. Sorry for my finger. My charger kept coming unplugged. Okay, then I have right here, all of my tech necessities for charging and such and this will be in one of those little quick quick five minute videos even if it even reaches five minutes to go over what I have in there and then right here I have my vlogging camera as well as my old school iPod touch that my husband got fixed for me and the dude said yeah we're gonna put a white face on it and he put yellow, a mustard yellow, but it's fixed. It works. All my music's on there. So I guess I can't complain. I do vlog, but I make all my videos private and I just share it with certain people. So maybe I'll make planner con videos public for everybody to see. Then I have my Kipping cake. Kipling case. This is my travel one. I only use the pink one for travel. I have a black one for my Bible necessities. No, the black one is for my coloring necessities. So like my adult coloring books and stuff like that. 
whenever I am doing a um, faux Fobonichi journaling. And I have a te dark teal one, which is for my Bible journaling. And then I have a teal one that I use whenever I go to a, a planner meetup and whatnot. So this is just for traveling and it has all the necessities I need for everything that's in this bag. All right, this video is getting super long. In here, I have my main personal planner and this is just an anchors chart. Anybody who knows me knows I'm in love with anchors. I think I got this from like Tuesday morning or something. I can't remember. And I have my Vanderspeck personal size planner in here. I love this baby. So that's in here. It is a waterproof vinyl case. Can I one hand this? <gasps> Maybe I can. I did. So it's protected, nice and padded. If any liquids spill, I am a-okay. The next thing I have is this pouch. And this is a Michael's pouch, follow your heart. And what I have in here is my Be Unique spiral notebook or planner. I use that just for sticker planning. Um, it's just for fun, creative outlet. And it's where I have everything down. It stays open on the current week in my craft room. So in case my husband needs to see something or whatnot, he can see it. But we use the Cozy calendar app on our phone. And so most of our schedule is there. I have my bullet journal in this plastic pouch from the container store just to keep it safe in case something does get a uh, spill or something. This particular case is not uh, waterproof. It's just lined in material. I have my home project notebook. And then when I do travel to like a meetup or anything, I use the same pouch and I put my stickers in there. I'm currently cutting the stickers I'm going to be using for the next month. So that's why it's empty. So that's what's in that pouch. And there's still more. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. I'm telling you this one, which is an old school mini laptop case. I have my Webster pages, teal Midori traveler, whatever thing you call it. And that's the top of it. So goofball me. And I have the charms and beads that I made. It's my prayer journal, if I didn't already say that. And so it's separated by like Bible scripture, faith, prayer, answered prayers, um, things like that. And yeah, I love that. So I'm going to get that back in there and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so in here, this kind of shows you the layout of the bag. There's two slip pockets, one big zipper pocket that I'm actually going to keep empty. That's usually where I have... Um, my feminine needs pouch when I'm just going to a regular get together. So in here I have my pocket Foxy Fix that was a gift from Planner Girl 5000 on Instagram. Thanks Karen, I love it. And then a gift from Aunt, um, Anna. I had a brain fart. I was listening to my husband. I'm sorry. This is um, from Sticky Beans. She personalized it for me and I love it. Funny inside joke, I call her Anna all the time and she calls me Cloud because I suck at like names, even my closest friends, and I love her to death and I'm sure one day she'll strangle me for it. But no, she's a sweetheart. But she um, gifted this to me because I love anchors and she, I bought a few dashboards for different size planners and she gifted this book to me because it matched and <laughs> let me see if I can get to an empty page. It has my name on the pages and they're super soft and her ink is raised. If you don't already know what shop that is, I'll link it below. You need to go check it out. And I'll even link um, a promo code from my friend VB Plans here on YouTube's, YouTube. She is um, promoting Sticky Beans right now. So that's all that's in this bag. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pack it while on camera. Let's see if it works out for me. I'll stick this bad boy in after. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm taking all of this with me, but I want to have the option to take it. So I needed to make sure it could fit into whatever bag I was going to carry. And who knows what I was showing you. I think my mop and steam mop because I'm supposed to be cleaning my kitchen, but I'm filming instead. So. But it simply goes in there super fast. I don't have to worry about anything getting smushed or broken. And then, let me 
fold this up. My beads in here, I'm gonna actually slide this in because I have glass beads and I don't want them to get stuck. So I'll be right back. All right, I just switched these pouches because this side has more room and I don't want my, my iPod screen to crack again. So right here, I put this. Right here, I lie. I put this and this. And then I put this. This is not a good one-handed thing, but I'm keeping it under my goal of 20 minutes. And it does all zip, but I know I can't zip it with one hand. So that's what I'm taking. My Orla Kylie diaper bag for my planner bag for PlannerCon 2017. How many more times can I say planner? Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, ask below. Check out part three for my liquids container and then all of the little extras for my walking pharmacy charging case and cosmetic case coming up soon too. Take care.